Hello everyone, it's Tiara Sharde. I hope you are doing well. I am back, but this is a really, really quick message, okay? Um, I received an email the other day, I think yesterday, um, from someone wanting to send me a donation, which is absolutely wonderful. I'm so grateful. However, they requested my mailing address and I'm happy that they did because I realized that there were some things that I never shared with you all. Okay, so let's just hop right into this, all right? So, since the beginning of my journey, for the most part, like a few months into my journey and being on YouTube, I have, and up until now, okay, I have been receiving emails, DMs, stuff like that, but mostly um, emails and actual people, okay, um, that I know or that I, I have known, or that I have encountered or spoken to, whatever the case, okay? I have received correspondence from them that wasn't the best, all right? So over the course of my journey um, of being on a public platform, I received death threats, I received sex trafficking threats, I received sexual assault threats, okay? A lot of different things, and, um, a lot of these people have requested my address and where am I at and exactly where am I located and the zip code and the, the unit number and all of that stuff. And um, I never shared that with y'all. Um, oh, and, and cursing, threats of hexing and cursing from people and um, people that I've known, right? So it's just a lot of stuff going on. And this is the journey of the high priestess, okay? This this goes on. And I I never shared it with y'all because first of all, I'm I'm pretty private. Like I've been up here for years, but many of you don't really like know the behind the scenes for a good reason, right? My my community doesn't really need to know um some of the warfare that goes on behind the scenes and on the spiritual journey and being exactly who I am, a prophet and an oracle, it, it comes with a certain level of responsibility and you're not always meant to tell everything all the time. Um, also, you know, that's, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm private and that's private stuff. Um, but after the email I received, I'm kind of like, I should probably just share this now. like. <laughs> I should probably let people know. And I've had clients who've asked for my address and I have given it to them because they've shown love and honor and mutual respect. And, um, you know, they've gained a level of trust with me. They have been rocking with me for years. Those people have my mailing address. But I do want to move forward since, you know, I'm, I'm really active now on YouTube again and people have been sending in donations and, and stuff like that, I wanna make sure that I share this with you. So if you're wanting to mail me something, find another way to send a gift at this time is all I request, okay? Um, I'm not as of yet ready to open up a P.O. box because that also comes with its own set of things, okay? So uh, Spirit is not quite telling me to do that as yet, all right? So I'm extremely grateful for the support, for the donations, and not even just the monetary support, y'all, for the thumbs up, for the sharing, for letting your family and friends know about me, for purchasing books for your family and friends, for purchasing services for your family and friends and courses and programs y'all y'all are so fucking amazing okay so i'm greatly appreciative i thank each and every one of you i love each and every one of you so if you would like to send a donation um i ask that you just use electronic means at this time um if you want to give me a physical gift um, let me know. Maybe I should open up a registry or, um, figure out another way, all right? But all of the methods to send a donation are linked in the description box, okay? If you actually click on the link tree, 
link in the description or on my Instagram, there's also a button that says support the ministry. And you can donate through there. You don't have to donate through Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Some of y'all don't use any of that stuff. So you can go directly to my Instagram, click on the link, and go to support my ministry, support the ministry. And I'll make sure that I also leave it linked um, really clear for you in the description box as well. I'm not the only one. See, this just came to me. I'm not the only one who deals with this stuff okay to be clear right there are many many light workers shadow workers healers shamans high priests high priestesses who go through not only spiritual warfare on the regular because we're on the front lines for souls it's a big deal right we also go through the physical threats and um real life events that happen people in real life trying to threaten our life and um there needs to be a certain level of wisdom with us y'all and I'm, I'm i just feel so strongly that this is going to help somebody okay we have to carry a certain level of wisdom within ourselves we have to understand our value and our worth like i gotta watch my back i'm not just anybody out here i can't just give you my entire address no and um, I want you to take that wisdom as well. And the people who really love you and honor you and who have been assisted by you shining your light, they're going to want to protect you. They're going to want to do what they can to ensure your safety. So please don't feel bad about saying, no, I, I cannot give you my address, but I can give you these options on how you can gift to me and I greatly appreciate the kindness. You know, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, it gets real in the field. Don't let none of this fool you. I know I look like this, but we be in the trenches out here. Like, listen to me, all right? We really be battling things for the call in order to fulfill our mission, in order to be the light. Yeah, it's real. I, I really need to disclose a lot more things. I'm just, it's timing. It's timing. Because some of the things that are needing to be worked through would literally shock people, okay? Um, maybe not my priestesses and my priests out there, but some people, it might shock them. And, you know, like I said, I'm pretty private. So you don't really know what's going on with me unless you're in my inner circle and in my inner world. And I'm very protective. I don't know um, if you've noticed, but I'm very protective of the people I care about and the people I love. I don't want to bring them anything that can put them in danger or um, mess up their um, mess up their path. So I'm very strategic on what I'm sharing to guide you in the right direction. And it, you know, it's a lot of responsibility to hold this position to have this role, okay? And I'm still learning as I'm going. Yes, I'm still learning. I still, um, you know, reach out to mentors. I still have mentors that I actually search for or, or aligned with, better yet, so that I can learn and grow and still, you know, develop myself on this journey. So I, I just wanted to come in and share that with y'all. <sighs> It feels good to share it, actually. I didn't... Really, I'm thankful for that email because I didn't really realize that... Um, yeah, I, I th you know, that email led me to this video, basically. Led me to just share this with y'all. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that y'all don't know. So there's certain um, measures that are needing to be put into place to make sure of things but that might be in the next book y'all you already know i got books on dick okay look there's a lot that um spiritual leaders go through there's a lot a lot that's why you know i want to make sure people are really following their calling don't just say you're a high priestess and a high priest and you're you're not and then also 
you know, you're not ready for what comes with taking on that responsibility. I sent out an email to my community about, you know, you, you've been given the crown, now it's time to reign. And I feel like a lot of people don't know what comes with that. So I actually do go into that, into the Pussy Portal program, actually. Because it's, it's not a game. <laughs> and I don't want people to think that this path is something that's cute. It's not. It's, it's a real... It's a real life purpose. It's a real life mission. And um, yeah, that's it, my loves. And again, thank you so much for the donations, for the likes, for the shares, for booking me, for enrolling. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much for um, seeing me as a guide and as a sister friend and as a high priestess and oracle. Okay. I love y'all. Talk soon.